everybody, my name is JBM Travels, the true UK traveller, and I'm currently in Colchester, walking towards Colchester Tower Centre. Gonna go to them traffic lights to get to, to cross the road, so I can continue on the right path. Cause I ain't risking jumping over here. Yes, it is very, very windy and I would like to say that I'm very hungry yet again and I'm feeling a Taco Bells. So I'm going to get a Taco Bells when I get to Colchester. So I'll see you in Colchester Town Centre. So I'm currently in Colchester as I've made it and Taco Bell which is up this hill the last part of the hill it is round up and it is up and down the hill it is up and down the hill and that's where I'm going so I'll see you there in a second so I've been to the Taco Bell in Colchester to get my lunch and I've got it down there got two soft chocos and a um, beef burrito all in there and I'm gonna go and start eating it as I walk around Colchester town centre so you can see this pink building here You can see where I am right now. You can see exactly where I am. Because that is where I am. So I will see you in a minute or two. So, hello everyone. Again, I'm in the park. So, I'm in Colchester Park. And down that way is... Colchester Castle Park and you can see here there is this lovely river flowing through the park it is flowing through the park all the way down there and it flows all the way back this way and let's go up here to show you what park we're in and where we are in the park so we're still in castle park actually welcome to castle park a green oh whatever that word is in the heart of colchester shaped by 2000 years of history and a site of historical you get the you get the idea of that. I'm not the best at reading when it comes to reading. I can do everyday reading though. But this is what I love the most about this part of the park. But it is still very cold today. I feel more prepared today than I was yesterday. But I'm going to take a break from the town centre and I'm going to hop on a bus which you can see down, yeah, down below if you want to see that video click the link down below in the description that is and I'll be jumping on a random bus I don't know what bus it is but it's just going to be the first bus that comes along probably as long as it's going outside the town centre we probably need to get off somewhere, don't know, but yeah, I will see you in that video, but I'll leave you with this, lovely, lovely, lovely river, I am going to, 
surprise you all with something. I don't see no ducks in here. Oh, there's one there. So, I will see you on the other video. So, I am in Colchester. I have come back off the bus journey and we are now going to explore Colchester for the next 15 to 20 minutes. So, let's go and explore. Well, I'm going to explore rather. Here is Colchester. That was Colchester Argos. Gonna go up here and see what we can find down this street. There's a hero shop here. It looks to be a fitness shop. Co-op Travel. I think it might be a different company. It might be the same as Co-op. There is a church here. It looks newly built. Colchester Baptist Church. Services 10.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Sunday services. And what not. Dairy free produce. In that shop that was just next door, I didn't show you it. Chicago's coffee and sandwich bar. And you got stuff down there. There's a Timpsons here. There's one down there as well. Sweet shop. Keep left. Stay say safe. Safe. Here's Timpsons again. Even though there's one up the road. We're gonna continue on.
going to check the time. So we've got plenty of time still. Before I need to make a move to my next trip. So, I will be back in a minute or two, just need to go do something quickly, figure out something and check something. So I'll see you again soon, everyone. So, I've looked up the train times and my train is at 44 minutes past 6, the one I need to get, so I'll be getting that train. And yeah, I'm going to show you a bit more of the town centre. For the blind, I believe. Tattoo shop. Taxi. Bus station where I got up before. Got off just over there. The one is trying to get in, but it can't get in. Sixty two is trying to go past. Five that was that filming, so he put his hand over his face. Then you got first buses, and then you got other local companies. Funeral directors. A no bed place. Hey! From my dad's bed. It's not new. It is my dad's bed. It's a bed that I had in my house. That we sold on. Chambers. Of Colchester, was it? Taking you there, bringing you back. Bingo Hall, come on in, not currently open. Chinese takeaway, and what not. First Colchester Travel Centre is over there.
back to exactly where we started. train station that way train road that way oh that looks interesting very interesting church looking place very old looking Oh, we can go read about you. St. Boltefees. I think it's called St. Boltefees or something like that. I could be wrong, completely wrong. St. Boto Fees Church. St. Boto Fees Churchyard. Blind me, that is so good to know about. Interesting. It's currently closed. Looks very interesting. Heritage. If you're into that kind of stuff. And what not. More to miss. So that was just random. Shall I say that was just random to find. But yeah. That was interesting to know about a bit of that. Likewise, I think yeah, I think I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, I'm gonna go up this hill, see what is what, check the time and whatnot, and plan what's next. So. I will walk up this hill and check it out. See you in a sec. So I'm in Castle Park and yeah, it's been a lovely day today. And soon, very soon, I'm gonna head off to the train station to get a train to Colchester Station. Cause I'm in Colchester Town Station is the station I'm gonna go from to Colchester Station to get my train. So, here it is. Welcome to Castle Park. And a map of Castle Park. And a bit of information. Welcome to Castle Park. A green, it's a blah de blah, I read that earlier. It closes in literally five minutes. So, I'm going to quickly just walk around this tiny bit here. Let's see what this has to say. Colchester's Great Norman Castle is one of the oldest in Britain, put there by William the Conqueror. 
For over 300 years it was never seized in battle, but after 1400 the castle was mainly a prison. In the 1600s its roof and towers were destroyed, and in the 1700s Charles Grey, RMP, put windows in the front and that round turret on top. The tree beside the turret is 200 years old, allegedly put there to mark the victory of the Battle of Waterloo. So for centuries, the castle was a ruin, open to the sky. And there are people still alive who remember that. I remember well going to the castles, visiting the castle, right through my childhood. My earliest positive memories must date back to when I was, I should think, seven years old and that would be 1933. Um, and this was at the time when there were excavations going on in front of the castle, and this area in front here, which is commonly called the moat nowadays, wasn't of course a moat at all, it was an archaeological excavation. And it was so important that it was left open for the public to see. Now before the excavation took place, the ground used to slope right up to the castle doorway. But once the excavation took place, of course, there was a hole in front of the castle, and to get into the castle, you had to go down a staircase into the so-called moat area, and up again into the castle by a staircase. So, that was some information about the castle. Hope you enjoyed that and yeah this is what the area looks like hopefully you like it A slow 360 And yeah, I shall see you all at the station where I'll be getting the train to Colchester Station. So I'm now at Colchester Station and I'm about to go and get my train. So it's been a beautiful, lovely, great day and I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye!